Hello world, this is Ben Jenkins. And where are we? We are at Dragon Con in Atlanta. And we are currently on the third floor of the uh, Hilton Hotel on the tennis courts. And uh, what are we doing up here? Uh, we're doing some solar observing. We've brought out two solar telescopes um, for people to be able to look at our nearest star. And what is the name, what kind of, what, what, what types of telescopes, I mean they're solar telescopes. Yeah, we've got two different kinds of solar telescopes. One is a neutral density solar telescope. It's got a Herschel wedge on the end of it, which is removing light across the visible wavelengths. And then we have a, another telescope, which is called an H-alpha telescope. It is looking at the hydrogen alpha transition at 656 nanometers, which means that it's seeing a very specific wavelength of light in the red end of the visible spectrum. And these allow us to have two different views of the sun, and each of those different views have different features that you're able to see. Now, last year I was here, and I saw, I saw the sun in a, in a violet wavelength, and I saw the sun yes. in a green wavelength. Uh, now, I'm, I don't know about the green wavelength, but the the red wave or the blue wave wavelength is calcium K, and um, we don't have a calcium K scope up here this year, unfortunately. I heard it was broken. Yes, it is. Um, the optics on the solar telescopes are covered with metal. In the case of the calcium telescope that we have, that metal can oxidize over time and it causes more picture quality. Really? Um, so what ended up happening is the optics had started to oxidize and we lost the ability to use the calcium K. And it's currently, I believe, a six month wait time to get those re metal things. So. Yeah. Why, so why is it that long? Um, just because of the manufacturer wait times, you've got to ship it off to them and then they've got to strip it and recode it and then send it back. And um, um, my understanding is that a lot of people end up needing to have that done over the course of time. So, so uh, which, um, where, I mean, I, I understand you're not with uh, that uh, the same project that Stephen uh, Ramston yeah. did. Charlie Bates Solar Foundation. I'm not affiliated with them. Um, we're with the University of West Georgia. I'm out here representing um, West Georgia out in Carrollton. Mm -hmm. um, these are two of the physics department's telescopes that we've brought out. And um, Stephen Ramsden's a friend of mine, and we heard he wasn't going to be there, be here this year, and uh, we couldn't just let this not have solar observing. So. That was a really smart move. I mean, I was disappointed, but I had uh, spoken to Rain back in the spring, and she said, oh no, we're definitely going to have it again. Oh yeah, and that's what Rob Moore actually was the one that put out all of the contacts and the feelers, and I'm just here providing the equipment. So. Now, um, as somebody that works in astronomy, are you a physicist, or what are you? Yes, um, I have a degree in physics, but it's got a concentration in astronomy. I am thinking about, I'm going into, I was talking to him yesterday, mm -hmm. and I am uh, majoring in mathematics, and I'm okay. going to minor in, astro in, in astronomy, and he said there's a lot I need to do to prepare for that. Um, what I want to do is build up some skills, and uh, I'd like to find a place where I can volunteer in an area of astronomy. What would you recommend? Um, well, uh, there's a couple of different places that you can do volunteer work. Um, I know that NASA has the, the different museums that they have that you can work with them. Um, find a local astronomy club, do volunteer with that, just public outreach. Um, oh. Charlie Bates Solar Foundation is pretty much all volunteer. I should give that a try. So, yeah. You know, then it, you know, it's better. Now, how is that about learning hands on? Um, so, I mean, what uh, Stephen does with the Charlie Bates Solar Foundation is what we're doing here brings out scopes, has yep. people come And go. how do I sign up for that? Uh, you just go online, look up Charlie Bates, or go okay. online and look up your local astronomy club. For yeah, we do have a local astronomy hub, it's $30 a year. I'll see what I can do to volunteer there. Yeah, so anyway, thank you so much. Can you say hello world one more time? Hello world. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm at DragonCon and I'm signing off now. Bye.